In today's video, we're going to be talking about stacking silver and gold along with making some investments by going with logic rather than emotion. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about both silver and gold, along with FOMO buying and panic selling and the importance of thinking logically, rationally, and objectively when you're stacking or when you're investing. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Got the limited edition Halloween tees available in three different colors and the DYDSS fight collection helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated, but today is Saturday. October 23rd, 2021. I have no idea what the spot price is because as I'm filming the video, it is still Thursday, the 21st. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about FOMO buying and panic selling. For those of you who don't know what FOMO is, F-O-M-O, -O, it's an acronym. Fear of missing out, following the herd, following the leader, doing what other people are doing without critical thinking, without understanding why you're doing it, without making a decision based on your conclusion, but rather a decision based on someone else's conclusion, and diving into silver, diving into gold, or diving into some form of an investment out of the fear of missing out. And then, of course, once you're in, once you have the silver, once you have the gold, once you've invested your money or your currency into this or into that over there, we see a little bit of red, see a little bit of a decline, boom, panic sell. That's what I want to talk about in today's video and really focus on and emphasize the importance of doing your own research, forming your own opinion, making your own decision based on your conclusion, not mine, not his, not hers, not them over there, no one but yourself. And being objective, staying rational, and staying focused on the end goal, on the long term, not what the price is doing today or what it's doing in the next five minutes or so. No, don't worry about the next five minutes, five days, five weeks. Focus on the next five years. We're 25 years. Focus on the long term. That's where our focus needs to be. So what I'm going to do in this video right here right now is include a clip from Wednesday night's VIP Club live stream. We talked quite a bit about this. I'm going to steal a couple minutes worth of that three and a half hour long live stream. I'm going to include it right here in this video. And once that clip is over, I'm going to hop back on and share even more of my thoughts. Here's the clip. Here we go. What's funny is that, yes, silver and gold have both been seeing far more green days than red days, but every single day, it seems like, percentage-wise, silver is up far more than gold is up, which is the case right now. See, silver moved into the $23 range, now it's in the $24 range. Gold has been sitting just a hair below 1800 bucks for several weeks now. But it hasn't gone over that $1,800 mark. Prefer 23? Yes, yeah, so do I. I prefer, I prefer 14. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever see those days again. That would be nice, though. And depending on... If that, were to, if that were to ever happen, it would depend on how it would happen. A very slow, gradual decline. No big deal. But if it were to just get chopped in half again like it did a year and a half ago, boom, premiums would go right back up. 
See, that's why I'm not really interested in explosive growth or hoping for things to just completely tank overnight. It draws too much attention. When something skyrockets, everybody dives, dives in at the same time. Everybody tries to grab a hold of a rocket ship that already took off before it's too late. And the same thing works the other way. When the price of really anything, whether it be silver, whether it be gold, whether it be a certain stock, gets hammered into the ground, just tanks, completely crumbles. I could really do one of two things. In a situation like that, more people would probably be selling off than diving in. I would be diving in. But people get scared when the price goes down. They see a little bit of red and all of a sudden they're like, oh, sell, 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 sell. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. Especially the people that are in acquisition mode. When I hear a story about that, it just it does nothing but disappoint me. And it has nothing to do with my money. It has nothing to do with my currency. But when I hear somebody panic selling toward the beginning of their silver stacking or their investing journey I just kind of shake my head and ask why did logic not play a role here do you not want a bigger portfolio why would you be upset about something that would lead you to be able to invest more or to stack more for a smaller dollar amount I will never understand that. See, that's been my mentality since the very beginning. A lot of people can say, oh, that's a, it's a rookie mistake. It could be. I just can't really align with it because when I was brand new to stacking, very end of 2017, very beginning of 2018, First time I picked up silver spot price was 17 and change. Second time I picked up silver, I think it was maybe 1680, let's just say. The third time around, it was like down to 1650. And I said at the very beginning, I was like a month deep into stacking. And I said to myself, this is fantastic. Every time I want more, I can get a little bit more for a little bit less. Barely making a difference. I mean, we're talking about like, pennies, nickels, and dimes at this point. But that was my mentality at the very beginning when I knew close to nothing about silver or gold. I knew one thing. The lower the spot price, the better for me. I'm just getting started. Can you imagine the 2017-2018 version of me getting started stacking three weeks later? I noticed that spot price went down by what 50 cents and I sold that entire hand that that entire little handful of silver that I owned at the time can you imagine that why on God's green earth would I do that how in the world would that make sense I never understood I never will understand I don't align with panic selling then again I also don't align with panic buying I've been saying it for a couple of years now. In response to the people who have this fear of missing out. I personally would rather miss out on an opportunity than be controlled by the fear of missing out. I'd rather miss out. I've missed out on opportunities in the past. That's perfectly okay with me. I've missed out on a lot of things. No issue. No regrets. Zero. Nothing at all. Because I was prioritizing other things at the time. I was working on other projects. I was doing this. I was doing that. And all of a sudden you have all these people like, oh my God, go and get this right here. It's going to completely take off. And if I don't have the cash on hand, I'm not going to, you know, whip out the credit card. Drive myself into debt trying to take a hold of the rocket, the quote-unquote rocket, about to blast off to the moon. 
or use rent money or, or grocery store currency, I should say, rent currency or grocery store currency to put it into this just because there's a chance that it's just going to explode out of nowhere. No, I got other things to take care of. If I don't have the cash on hand and if I don't have the time to research something, I'm not going to dive into it. Just because some guy's freaking out. Pig, oh my God, it's going to go to the moon. Okay, let it go to the moon with or without me. I don't panic buy. Everything I do, I try to do it with logic, not emotion. I try to strategize. And in my opinion, that's the best way to do it. And the reason I can say that is because I've been doing exactly what I've been doing in a variety of different ways for the last going on four years now. And it has done absolutely nothing but work. Every single thing I've done, well, for the most part, has worked. Is four years enough time to really say? No, absolutely not. But there's a lot of people who completely fail after four days because they make an emotional decision. I've made it almost four years without making any emotional decisions. And I've seen nothing but success in all the different things that I've been working on. So yeah, that was about an eight minute long clip taken from a three and a half hour long live stream that we just did Wednesday evening in the VIP club. If anybody wants to become a VIP club member, I'll leave the link in the description. But we were talking quite a bit about this and I thought it warranted its own video because I haven't put a lot of videos out regarding panic buying, panic selling, or the fear of missing out. I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I wanted to dedicate this video to talking a little bit more about that. And I think something else that plays a massive role, whenever you dive into something, whether it be silver, whether it be gold, whether it be an investment of some sort, and you see some capital appreciation, especially quicker than you were expecting, like me, for example, I started in late 2017, early 2018. I didn't think that we were going to go over $20 an ounce for silver. For a long time, I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought I was going to get 5 to 10 years before we surpassed the $20 mark. But then we did surpass the $20 mark, I think when I was about maybe 3 years deep in the silver stacking journey. And a lot of people were on the same ship as me. They started roughly around the same time. They got their fair share of silver. They might not have gone all in. They might not have dedicated their entire lives to saving every little penny so they can get as much silver as they possibly can. They might not have done that. I didn't do that. I was getting a lot of silver, as much as possible, but I didn't dedicate my life to stacking. I was getting as much as I could, though. And in response to capital appreciation starting at $16, $17, and here we are today in the low to mid-20s. doesn't sound like that big of a difference, but if you include premiums, it actually does make quite the difference. In response to all of this, I hear it all the time. People in the comments saying, I wish I bought more. I wish I got more. I wish I stacked more. Same could be said about conversations I have with people regarding Tesla stock. You know, a lot of people started investing in Tesla when it was like, you know, three, four hundred dollars a share and it's over seven hundred dollars a share. I think it's actually over eight hundred dollars a share right now. Could be said the same thing about gold, by the way. I remember when gold went down to eleven hundred bucks. Look at it now. It's about eighteen hundred bucks. It's very easy to say, I wish I got more after capital appreciation. And this has very little to do with money, by the way. This goes for absolutely everything. It's just human psychology. Things that work, you wish you did more of. You ever go to a restaurant and you say, ah, that, that looks pretty good. I'm going to order the sample instead of getting the whole big thing. You can get the sample and it ends up being fantastic. You'd be like, oh man, I wish I got more. Or the other way around. Maybe you said, oh, I know that's going to be good. I don't want to get the sample. I want to get the whole thing. You get the whole thing and it ends up being atrocious. And you're like, oh man, I wish I got the sample. It's the same thing. 
It goes the same way, whether we're talking about food, whether we're talking about money, whether we're talking about stacking, investing, or anything like that. It's just psychology. Things that worked, things that went well, you wish you did more of. Just like when people are 100 years old and they look back on their life and be like, wow, I had so much fun doing this, this, and this. I wish I spent more time doing those things. Or somebody sitting in a jail cell being like, wow, that didn't work. I wish I didn't do that. It's the same exact thing. Which is why if you're going to take your currency, your dollar bills, your fiat, these little things, these piece of paper glorified IOU debt note dollar bills, if you're going to take these things and your plan is to inject them into an asset, whether it be silver, whether it be gold, whether it be anything, an investment of some, some sort, real estate, farmland, the stock market, I don't care. Whatever you're planning on doing, make sure you're doing your own research, forming your own opinions, making your own decisions based on your conclusions, not mine, not his, not hers, not theirs over there, and definitely not Wall Street bets. Make your own decision. Stay logical, stay objective, think critically, and keep your head on a swivel. You never know when the next big opportunity is going to present itself to you. I want you guys to head on down in the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And what are your thoughts? Is that something that you've experienced? Is this something that you've gone through? Have you done any panic selling? Have you done any FOMO buying when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content bunch of brand new videos over there go check them out the link will be in the description trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers we just hit 2,000 and i appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dydss merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors, as well as the DYDSS Fight Collection, raising a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to FOMO buying, maybe you think the rocket ship is about to take off, so you throw a bunch of credit cards at the local coin shop, or you throw a bunch of credit cards on these online precious metal dealing websites, because that's something I heard. I was told a couple years ago, they're like, oh, silver's going to triple in value next week. I'm maxing out my credit cards today, and I'll use the silver that I got today to pay off the credit cards later down the road. And, oh, man, that did not work out well for that person. But <laughs> head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to FOMO buying or diving in due to the fear of missing out rather than thinking critically. And then, of course, when prices go down, nobody really likes to see depreciation. I like to see it because it means I can get more bang for my buck. But if you're relying on something and you start to see more red days than you're comfortable with, yeah, of course, human psychology. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world. Have you ever panic sold just trying to cut your losses? 
Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.